Hey guys, how is it going? The following developing workflows are navigating download monthly report and upload yearly report. So you won't find it in the guide but we will be needing them later. So both navigation workflows should work on any of the system one pages. So we need to make their selector flexible. Let's start with the navigate to download monthly report page. So in the UiPath Studio, right click on the system one folder. And we will name this sequence uh, system1, navigate2, I will just uh, say download monthly report or DMR, DM report. Hit the create button. And here we only need one argument and that is the um, download report URL. So we will be navigating to that page directly using the URL unlike before um, just to share with you before when we started this project we need to hover the mouse here and click the download monthly report but in this workflow we will just directly navigate to this page using its url so going back to uipad studio let's create an in argument and we will name this download report url it should be in direction and argument type of string next to that uh, we will add an attach browser activity so look for attach browser and uh, again as I mentioned the flex the selector of this attach browser should be flexible so this uh, should work in any of the system one page now let's click indicate browser and edit the selector and we will replace this part with an asterisk character or the wild chart character because if you notice uh, all of the system one page always start in this title the only changing part is the after this hyphen character so validate and hit ok and then after that we need a navigate to activity And this will be navigate to the uh, download monthly download monthly monthly report URL, and we will assign here our in argument. And that is all for this workflow. Make sure to save that, and we can actually test that. So let's go to the uh, system one. Let's copy this URL. And let's go to different page of system one first before we test it. Maybe like for example, I'm here on the vendor page. And in the UiPath Studio, we will assign the URL to the argument. Hit save and click on file. And it works. So that should be good. So before we close this workflow, make sure to remove the default value that we assign and save the workflow. Next step is to develop the navigate to upload yearly report workflow. So again, right click on the system one folder and select add a new sequence. And we will name this one system one navigate to upload yearly report. Hit the create button. And similar to the previous workflow, we need an argument here for the URL. So we will name this argument um, in upload report URL. And we need an attach browser activity. So again, this should be uh, working in any of the system one page. Let's indicate any system on page and edit the selector to replace the uh, latter part of the title with an asterisk character or the wild card. Hit validate and hit OK. And next is to add a navigate to activity. So this will be navigate to uh, upload yearly report page. So in the URL, assign the in upload report URL. We can test this workflow as well, but we need to first assign a uh, default value to the uh, URL argument. 
So let's first get that uh, direct URL. Copy that. And in UiPath Studio, let's assign that to our argument. And to test, just click Run File. And it works. Alright, so that's for our Navigate workflows. But again, uh, before we close this one, make sure to remove the default value that we use. Our next step is to edit the configuration file. So let's open the config file, go to data folder, and open this config.xlsx file. So here we will need to store the important settings for our project. So first is the orchestrator queue name. So we need to copy the orchestrator or the queue name that we created in the orchestrator. So open your orchestrator and go to shared folder, then queue stub, and then here copy the uh, queue item name that you created. I'm not sure if that's the same with with the queue name I I created. So in the configuration file, uh, assign that to the orchestrator queue name setting. Next, for the orchestrator queue folder, just input shared. That is the folder we are using. I will remove this uh, empty row here. Then for the lag business process name, I will be using generate yearly report and performer. Then we need to create new settings for report directory. So for the report directory, uh, this is the folder path where to save the download reports. So it should be um, data and report. Make sure not to forget this uh, uh, backslash character at the end of the value. Next, we also need a system one credential. So I will name this system one credential. Maybe I need to <laughs> zoom this. So for the system one credential, copy the asset name for the system one credential in the orchestrator. So go to assets tab and copy this. Next is the work items URL. That is the direct URL for the work items page. So in the system one, let's navigate to the work items page. So work items. So let's copy this URL and paste that to our configuration file but first let's create a setting for that work items url and paste that thing there make sure to remove the hyperlink next is we need to have a download monthly reports url so let's name that download monthly reports url so this is a direct URL for the system one download monthly report page. So again, let's go back to uh, system one and go to that page to copy the URL. Download monthly report and copy this. Paste that here. Again, make sure to remove the hyperlink. Next is the upload yearly report URL. This is the direct URL for the system one upload uh, yearly report page. So let's go back to system one. Let's navigate to the upload yearly report page and copy this URL. And make sure to remove the hyperlink. Last is the status. So for the status, it should be completed. 
All right, so let me just check if we miss anything. I think that's all for our configuration file. These are all the settings that we need later to run our complete project. So after you uh, update and add the additional setting, make sure to save your configuration file. And in the next video, we will be editing the, the framework workflows like the init all application, kill process, and close all application. So I'll see you in the next video.